besties and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a skin condition I have suffered from since I was a child. Um, and I finally, I feel like I've gotten it under control. And what is that? I'm talking about dandruff today. And I specifically wore black because um, I can now wear black without worrying about white flakes um, coming down from my scalp and how embarrassing is that? So you can see I am dandruff free, I can wear black, there's no white flakes on myself. So what is um, dandruff? Dandruff is a form of a fungus. It is called seborrheic dermatitis. To date, dermatologists do not know exactly um, what it comes from. There is a theory that it is coming from uh, the fungus, which is called mal malesthesia. Malesthesia, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, which I believe is coming from something like a yeast. But to date, there is no, you know, proof or science behind the uh, proven fact for that. Um, and they don't really have an exact cure. There's no, you know, one stop, one size fits all. There's no magic pill that we can take to really cure it because it is a chronic condition. So what does that mean? Chronic means um, when you have a chronic condition, you have to find ways to keep and manage that condition. Um, there is really no cure. It can come and go. So I recently, um, well, first let's talk about what I've always used since I was a child, and that is, I feel, a brand that everyone knows and you can find in every drugstore, that is Head and & Shoulders. Um, it says here, even on the label, it is um, number one dermatologist recommended. So this has always been something that has managed and kept my dandruff under control, but I wanted to go and move to something more of a natural route, um, especially when I started doing a lot more research in ingredients and product formulations. A great website that I use is called ewg.org. I will put that link below. You can search almost any brand on the market, any ingredient on the market, and it shows you the level of toxicity. So Head & Shoulders came up as, let me see my notes here, as a five, which is moderate, and I believe this scale goes from one to 10. Um, so I really wanted to move the needle down and be working with something in like a one or a two, especially in your scalp. When you're working in your scalp, things that really penetrate, um, I really want something with a low toxicity level. My hair just went a little crazy there. Um, so, and then I recently had a flare up. I had to go and visit my dermatologist and I was desperate. I couldn't do any at-home remedies. It was, I had such a flare up. It was so painful. It prevented me, like I couldn't sleep at night because the itch was so bad. It was not only in my scalp, it went down into a patch on my forehead and into my lower back. So I did get put on a prescription um, of a, a shampoo to use that I have to use about three times a week. I no longer have to use that. It really helped to bring things under control. So. Something I have found that is natural and that is working and keeping it under control, it has like a zero to one toxicity level. Um, I discovered, and I read a lot of reviews on this, but the Aveda Scalp Benefits Balancing Shampoo. So I'm gonna focus in on that. This is something that has been working wonders for me. I um, am loving it. It has really helped to prevent any itching or scratching on my skin. Um, the only one thing I will comment that it, it, this is not a game, it's not a game changer for me. It's not gonna stop me from using it, but it does feel, and I think because of all the botanicals in there and it's so rich and conditioning for my scalp, it can leave, like it looks kind of like a little oily the next day, which again, it's okay, that is fine. I would rather use something that is safe for my skin and not harmful and there's no hormones or disruptors in there. Um, so that is one thing I found that I've been using and really like. It is kind of, it is pricey though. Um, it's about for this size bottle, which is an 8.5 ounce, I think this one is about $22 for the bottle, but again, I'm not using it every day, little goes a long way. And one thing to remember with dandruff, and make sure you're using whatever you're using, you're using it properly. Dandruff is on the scalp. So you really have to make sure whatever product you're using, you're massaging it into the scalp and not necessarily need to be, you know, throughout the whole hair. You just have to focus on the scalp because that's, or wherever the issue is. Um, but you don't need to worry about all of your hair. 
So I wanna talk about something that is uh, super affordable and you can find at any health food store and this is a miracle product and you're gonna see this come up in a lot of my videos because I use it for a lot of different things. It is that miracle item that everyone needs in their medicine cabinet, or I'm sorry, in their, in their kitchen cabinets. So this is um, the Dr. Bragg's um, Apple Cider Vinegar. So this stuff is incredible. When you're using um, and shopping for this, you need to make sure you're using the organic and um, unfiltered formula, and you need to use where it says it is with the mother. With the mother means um, that it has those enzymes, and you can see it at the bottom. They kind of settle at the very bottom. It looks chunky. Those are the enzymes that are actually doing all of the work and balancing the pH. Um, the enzymes help to clear you know, the bacteria. So what I do is I take um, a bottle. You can use a spray bottle. You can use a plastic kind of like travel bottle, but I mix. Um, I put it and I keep it in the shower and I do, I want to say, about 80% of the apple cider vinegar and then 20% water. And I keep this in the shower and I just spray it in to my roots all over and I massage it into my scalp. And this stuff is incredible. Not only that, it works as like a detangler for my hair. I have super long hair. It gets so tangled it is obnoxious to brush through so i really enjoy doing it not only in my scalp but i run it through my entire hair i was while i was doing research i discovered that and i was kind of wondering because i was like oh this makes my hair feel amazing um it closes the cuticles and it really it like kind of conditions and because of the enzymes strips all like any yucky like residue of product it just takes it off your hair now one thing i do recommend it can leave it like a little crunchy so make sure you thoroughly rinse it rinse it and then um you Use a hair conditioner after that. Okay, so now that I've talked about what has been working for me, I'm gonna talk about something that did not work for me and I think actually caused my most recent flare up that I had a couple months back where I had to actually go visit my dermatologist. Um, I was desperate and in so much pain and discomfort, it was crazy. So I, um, and I'm a little shocked and I'm bummed. So and this, again, this just didn't work for me. It might work for you. I read some reviews. People seem to really like it that have dandruff. For whatever reason, it did not work for me. It flared it up. It made my skin so bad. Um, and that is the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree um, Special Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I got suckered. I am a woman. I saw these on sale somewhere. I think it was like buy one, get one free. And of course, I like went for the gallon size. Um, so, I don't know if it was the tea tree in there, and I've done a lot of research. Tea tree is actually supposed to be really good and kind of, um, you know, like a disinfectant and, and, and antiseptic. It'll help with that, the bacteria associated with um, dandruff. But, and I don't know if it's something else in there, but it just didn't work for me. I just, something I wanted to share. And I did look it up on the um, EWG, and it was pretty kind of not good results. It was rated a moderate hazard at a six. So, um, you know, and I do just from doing some more research, I think they came out with a new formula. It looks like patch packaging has changed and I know EWG does not update when products come out with new formulations and packaging. It, there's a lag time before they update, so it could have changed. I don't know. Um, if anyone knows, please, please drop me a comment. If it's worked for you, please drop me a comment. It just did not work for me. Um, so with that said, I hope my video kind of helped you a little bit. I know that I was reading some statistics and up to 50% of people suffer from, or at one point in their life will suffer from dandruff. It is so discomforting. Um, and you know, again, you don't want those little white flakes on your blouse. But I did find those two things that work for me, the Aveda shampoo, super awesome. And then the uh, Bragg's liquid, I'm sorry, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar awesome, awesome products. Um, if you've tried these, please drop me a comment. I would love to hear your story and journey on treating dandruff. Um, and I can't wait to see you all next time. <laughs>